I was there when I dove into stands on July 1st, 2004. I was there on July 1st, 2004, when Derek Jeter dove into the stands. I was there for Derek Jeter's dive into the stands on July 1st, 2004. I was there when Derek Jeter dove into the stands and made that incredible play against the Red Sox. I was there when Jeter dove into the stands. Actually, I was on the mound and threw the pitch. One, two. He loops that to left field, gonna be a tough play. Eric Jeter's always a very heads up player, he knows where to be. I thought for sure it was a double down the line, and all of a sudden number two came out of nowhere. Believe me, if you ask him, it's a routine play for Derek Jeter. That's just the kind of person he is. It really wasn't a difficult play. It was just a pop-up. As you watch him make that play, and as he's running towards the side, you're thinking, he's not going to catch the ball, but he might run into the wall really hard. I remember his acceleration. I remember thinking, man, is he going to get there? Wait, is he going to get there? He's going to get there. I just knew I couldn't stop, so I figured I'd jump over the photographer's pit, which I fell in a couple years prior to that. And, and, and he caught the ball, and, and there was nowhere else to go but headlong, keep going. Well, he found a way to avoid the wall, but didn't find a way to avoid the seats. He came out of there with a the ball, and he, he, got, he made the play. I thought I'd just run into a person, but obviously I jumped into the one seat where there was no fan and didn't feel too good. One, two. He loops that to left field. Going to be a tough play. Cheater on the run, makes the play, wow. and flies into the stands. Oh, what a play by Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter, what a player. You can't say enough about him. He's a winner. That's what he is. He's a flat-out winner. And then the second thing you remember is Jeter gets helped out of the stands. He's walking back with the trainers. It's an amazing testament to Jeter to watch him just fly through the air with no regard for his body and come out bloodied and battered like he was just in a prize fight. Jeter did not care at all about his body. and It looked like he had just run into Mike Tyson. I mean, it looked like he had a shiner that Mike Tyson had said, you want to go a couple of rounds? There was just no opportunity for somebody to grab him and cushion the blow. And he kind of busted the right side of his upper cheek and his nose and his eye and all that stuff. When you see the replay of him making that play, he was going to get that ball, and then he was going to worry about anything else that happened after that. Well, after we pulled Derek out of the stands, I kind of gave him a little hit on the shoulder. I was a little fired up after the catch, and uh, he was like, that's not a good idea. I was kinda, he was kind of sore after going into the third row. You know, I was fired up, and uh, I thought he could take it at the time. Glad I caught it, at least. The game known for Derek Jeter's dive into the stands may not be remembered so fondly if the Yankees didn't actually win the game. Well, they did win the game in extra innings thanks to a big hit from John Flaherty. Here's the pitch. There's a fly ball to left field. It's way back there, and it is. That's one hop over the wall. The Yankees have won it. The Yankees have won it as John Flaherty hit one, one hop over the wall. And coming home to score is Miguel Cairo, and the Yankees win another improbable game. Probably one of the best catches I've ever seen in the game. Definitely one of the best catches I've ever had behind me during a game. It was a phenomenal play. It meant a lot to us as a team and a lot to everybody. You see guys go all out many times during the course of a game or a season, but it's never quite the same. And when it happens in a Yankees-Red Sox game, and it's that player, and he comes out looking the way he does, it just takes it to a whole new level. And I remember turning to somebody in the press box and saying, well, we won't see Jeter tomorrow anyway. And then, of course, we did, because that's Derek Jeter. That's just testimony to how he plays the game. What can you say? The guy's just an amazing player. He's a no-fear guy. He's a leader. He does all those wonderful things that you're supposed to be doing when you're, when you're a guy like Derek Jeter and you're the captain. Always, always uh, finding a way to uh, get something incredible done. That's why he's Derek Jeter. An interesting moment in a very memorable game. It was one of those moments when you're lining up the moments in Derek Jeter's career, and there are a lot of moments, that moment's going to be up there pretty high on the list.